One of the questions I get asked very often is, is it possible to send newsletters with Modic? And the answer is, of course. In Modic, you have a tool which is called Segment Emails. And this is the tool of choice to send newsletters. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it, what to do, and so on and so forth. If you watched my last video on how to make a double opt-in campaign without code, you can use everything we used there to make now a great newsletter segment. The only thing you need for this tutorial is a working instance of Modic. If you have one, it's great. If not, take a look at the video how to install Modic. We have a lot of videos for this and there are a few more to come on the different server systems. And in order to use Modic, you need cron jobs. So take a look at the cron jobs you need and then come back to this video and build your first segment email or your first newsletter. So if you don't want to be bothered with how to install the stuff and how to be an IT manager for server side, blah, blah, just click the link in the description to managed Modic hosting from Hardmodo.io, which is our hosting system. We're hosting Modic since 2018, so we know a little bit about it. Use that link if you want. If not, build your own Modic. And the second thing you need is a segment. And this is the first thing we're going to build. The second thing is we're going to build a newsletter itself. So the email, we're going to design it a little bit. I'm going to show you how to design your newsletter a little bit. And then we're going to send the newsletter. And there we have a test which we're doing in the first place. Then we have the direct sending of the newsletter at button click. And then we have planning a newsletter for the future. So this is the stuff we're going to look at now. Let's get started in the dashboard. There we're heading to segments. And if you followed the video campaign without code, you can build your segment as follows. So click on new and build another UI newsletter segment and put in a filter. And the filter would be DOI, which is our double opt-in field, equals yes. So everybody who walked through the double opt-in process and who has this updated field to yes gets put into this segment. In our case, the cron job, which is Modic Segments Update, runs every 15 minutes. So it takes up to 15 minutes to get users filtered into this segment. As soon as you have somebody in there, you can use the segment for sending emails. So let's build our email. Let's go to channels, emails, and let's create a new email and choose new segment email. You can start with prints if you don't have a template ready-made for your project. In Manage Modic, you have a few more templates which you can choose from. Now let's put a subject line into this and internal name is newsletter01, contact segment. In this case would be DOI newsletter segment. And we are not publishing it yet, so let's save it. After saving, let's move to the builder. So here we can do whatever we want. So if we don't want to have this section, I will just delete this and I will delete this section. And here I can put in some text, put in some placeholders, first name. You can do whatever you want. You can customize this stuff with the brush here and move to typography, make it bigger or smaller or whatever, change the font, center it. And you can use these sections and these tools to insert more images or insert buttons. And of course, if you have a button, you can change the style of the button. You can change the font color inside. You can change the thickness, the weight of the font here. You can, of course, change the size in the decorations. You can change the background with double clicking on images. You can drop new images here to upload them, or you can choose from whatever you have already. So use that, build your template. If you want to know how to create really amazing templates, just follow this tutorial. As soon as you're finished, of course, you need to close the builder and save the email and from here you can send an example. Even though it's unpublished at the moment, you see the status of the email. So you can send your example to whatever email address you want to send it to. So I'm going to send it to my personal email address. I'm seeing here it's a test. 
and I see custom field equals first name. Oh, yeah, which is funny because it's wrong. <laughs> I wrote custom field and it needs to be contact field. So let's change that. Contact field equal first name, save and close. Okay, so let's send another test. Here now we see, hi, first name. So this tells me I wrote it correctly and because it's a test contact, Mautic can't fill in a name or something. So don't be upset that Mautic is acting weird because it's not, it's acting like it should. <laughs> this is the perfectly normal behavior. This is wrong actually, made another typo, doesn't matter. So this is the perfect behavior for Mautic if you send test mails because Mautic doesn't have the test contact details so it can't fill in custom fields or whatever. If you want to send it to an actual contact, which could be in a test segment, then you need to create a test segment, put your contact into it with your with your own name and with your own details and your own email address and just send the email to this segment instead of the segment you want to send it to. I hope you got this, but I think so. So, and then you can just send it. And if you click on send, it just tells me, hey, this newsletter is unpub unpublished. I can't send it at the moment because it's unpublished. So you need to publish it first. And this um, leads us to the next thing. So now we're going to publish this newsletter. Let's just click publish here, save and close. Let's walk out. And now I can go and send the email. So it will tell me here how many contacts are pending in this segment, how many contacts didn't receive this newsletter yet, and to how many contacts I could send it via clicking on the send button. So this is the first thing I can do here. The only problem with that is if you have a huge list, it will take a long time and it most probably will interrupt somewhere. So if you have more than 10,000 contacts, I recommend sending in the background. So let's send this here at first. And now you see it's only one contact, so it's really quick and it's sent already, so it's here. And now it says, hi, Alex, which is amazing. So it works. So now let's plan an email. So let's say the email wasn't published yet and wasn't sent already. So let's go to send to publish, yes, and then publish at. So we need a start and an end date because if we don't have an unpublished date or an end date, it will going to be published forever and it's going to send the email forever to everybody who enters this segment, which is great, but it's bad on the other hand. So the publish date is the date and the time when it starts to send your email. So let's say I want to send it every Tuesday at 11 and now it's going to be planned for next Tuesday, 11 o'clock. And unpublish depends totally on your sending speed and on your system. So if you have the ability to send one email per second, it probably takes a long time to send 100,000 or 1 million emails. If you can send 200 emails per second, it doesn't take that long. I can't tell you which is the right speed for your system because it's your system. At Managed Modic, you can just say, okay, I'm publishing at 11 o'clock and I'm unpublishing at 11.05 and you can do this for 10 million contacts. It doesn't matter. It's super, super quick. In your case, it's probably better to wait five hours or something or seven hours and let the system do the work first and then see if everybody got the email. In this case, the system would have five hours to send the emails. You need to publish it though. So if you are not published and you click save and close, it's just unpublished. So nothing will happen. So you need to publish the email even though you have these dates stated. So click on yes, save and close. And now you see it's pending, which is great. So let's move back to emails. And you see here with this flag, it's pending, start sending at 12th July, 11 o'clock. It will also show you to how many recipients the email is pending and is going to be sent. The next stage is to create amazing emails. So move to the next video here and learn how to make your own templates and find the right cron job to make this work, which is really important. The cron job is called Mautic broadcasts send. So make sure to import this cron job 
let it run every minute or whenever. I would recommend every minute. If your system is capable of doing this, then you can send your emails every minute, which is great. If you have any questions or something, just let me know in the comments. Click the like button, it would really help us. And of course, subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next one.